I had the massive privilege of meeting this inspirational guy on a ride he was leading in Kalbogi, Canada. This is Hoser Hicksville. <laughs> okay guys, so now I'm behind Paul. This is the guy who um, Graham Jarvis was saying he just didn't hold anybody up when he was riding with um, Colton Parker from the US. And I mean, look at him go. Over breakfast. He was saying his balance is shot nowadays. And I think, well, holy fuck, what was he riding like before? And I thought at 76, that puts him at, what, 23 years older than me. And I thought, I've just got to stop whinging about the the minor little physical complaints I'm getting because God knows what he's wrestling with and he's still just flying along these tracks. So Paul, you're 75 and you're still riding. What, what sort of things have you done to make it safer for your riding? Well, mainly I've got, I've, I've went to the body armor stuff got lots uh, of padding. Padding, because part of that is due to my balance function. I'm forever having little tip overs when I stop or get hung up on something, and, you know, and, and it's always clunk on my elbow or shoulder, yeah. so that. And what, what about your knees? How do you protect your knees? I, I just, uh, all I have is just knee pads, and I do, uh, I do, uh, with 70 pounds, I got two 35-pound dumbbells, and I do three sets of 15 squats about three times a week. Yeah, he said he sits down quite a bit nowadays, but that's not slowing him down. Hell. And also, I've noticed you ride a, a Beta Cross Trainer. Has that helped as you've got a bit older? I, I like the Beta Cross Trainer because uh, uh, it, it's the lower seat height right off the start. Everything else seems to be in a 39 inch range. This is 35 and a half inches. And uh, with my balance, I have to have a lower motorcycle. It's, uh, it's just work for me. It's, uh, the power is nice, mellow, and pulls where you need it to. I don't need a race bike. The suspension is not race but it'll get you through most of the stuff you're looking to, to get through. Don't slip, Paul. He says his riding's gone off with Meniere's disease. Doesn't look like it. He just says he's living, living the life. Living the life, brother. Because uh, motorbikes are still his passion. And his whole life is just doing what he loves. And I think, what a great way to retire. I mean, he's been riding all his life already. When he met Graham Jarvis and Colton Harker, or Hacker, um, he was just stunned at what they could do. But we're just stunned at what Paul's doing. Just hope when we're at pension age, we're still seizing the day, living the life and wringing everything we can out of it instead of watching days of our lives and playing lawn bowls for our extreme adventure. So you're 75 now. When, when do you think you will stop riding? When would you, how far would you like to go? I have no idea. And change it to 76. I got 25 days oh. and I'll be 76. 76? Let's, <laughs> let's count every day. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what will stop me. As uh, uh, long as I can do what I'm doing and ride at kind of the pace I'm at. And the main thing is to have somebody like Farron has been with us. I've got several guys up here in Canada that I ride with and, and they look out for me because they know if I get into really tough stuff I need help sometimes and they're right there they don't complain they just help me through and go on and that keeps you riding I overthought you it. knew better Paul I slowed down and overthought it instead of just hitting it you were trying to make it look really good for the movies yeah well that big that big rollie in the middle there was no rollie there Paul 
Huh? That's all in your imagination. There was no, no really. it wasn't there. <laughs> This is hysterical. Every time we stop, Paul just goes, this is bullshit. We gotta get going again. <laughs> the guys reckon it does put him off his pace. If he, um, if he does stop for too long. And, uh, the man talking about his smooth riding, he was just saying he hasn't broken a bone since 1995 which I think is a bit of a testament to how well he goes damn I still reckon he must have been really fast in his day and this uh, technical stuff's not worrying him in the least quick message to someone who's 60 and thinking about quitting just uh I'd say just get in shape. A little bit of weight, you don't need to do heavy weights. I never was good with heavy weights, but bicycling or running, and the main thing is, is get, get your aerobic capacity up and a little bit of body strength. Not, you don't need a lot, but a, and uh, it goes a long way. Good genetics, I guess, helps too, I don't know. <laughs>